Hi, this is Cheryl McQueen, designer with Del Bella's Designs. This video tutorial is for a masculine card that would be great as a birthday or anniversary card, or just to say I love you. We will be using the new Lavinia Compass stamp as well as a stamp from Nellie's Choice. Here are the supplies we will be using today. For our card base, uh, art card, we're going to use a um, Lavinia Multifarious Smooth and Supreme cut to three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. We will also be using a small multifarious piece cut for our inset design right here. This one is cut to two and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches. We will also be using cardstock to make our frames. For the small piece, we'll be using just a black piece of cardstock, and this one will be cut to three inches by two inches. For our larger piece frame, we're going to just use a piece of white, car white cardstock, and that one is going to be cut to five inches by three and three quarter inches. Our card base, we'll take a, an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock and cut it in half, and then we will fold that piece of paper in half to make our card base. The stamps that we are going to use today include the Nellie's Choice Maritime Boat. This one is VCS001. And we will be using the Lavinia Compass. This one is LAV808. For our inks today, we're going to use the Versifying Claire Nocturne for our base black ink. And then for our other inks, we'll be using the Tim Holtz Distress inks. We'll use Carved Pumpkin, Salty Ocean, Seedless Preserves, and Black Soot. To color in our boat design, we are going to use uh, the Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. And I have a quite a variety here that I'm going to use today. We will use the Candied Apple, Spiced Marmalade, Seedless Preserves, Salty Ocean, Black Soot, Walnut Stain, Prize Ribbon, and Hickory Smoke. I will also use my uh, stamping platform to do the stamping with. And I will be using blending brushes as well. And a little dauber. We'll also use a paintbrush to work on our uh, design here. I've chosen a smaller one since it is such a small design. And we'll also need some water. For our sentiment, I you can use anything you like. I actually have a set that's very interesting that I found recently where you can buy the letters and just stick them together how you like to form the words that you want. Um, but you can also, before you uh, actually put on all your inks, you can take your cardstock and um, type out the words that you want on your printer and on your computer and then print it out. Um, or of course you can find another uh, sentiment that you like just as well. Then also to put our uh, piece together I'm just going to use some running tape. You can also use an adhesive glue that works for paper if you would like. Alright so let's get started working on our project. So to start off with we're going to go ahead and do our small card first. So we will take our two and three quarter by one and three quarter piece of art cardstock that we have uh, cut out, and we're going to go ahead and place it on the stamping platform.
and then we will take our boat and center it in that little piece of cardstock. Then we will take our Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. and get our stamp covered thoroughly with the ink. And do our stamp on the small piece of cardstock. Make sure that you press down on the entire stamp so that you're getting a good clean image. And there we have our image. So now we can go ahead and take that off of our stamping platform. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use our uh, Tim Holtz watercolor pencils to do a little paint job on it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in just a little bit so that you can see a little better. So what I'm going to do is start out with the salty ocean. And the way that I like to paint with the watercolor pencils is to just squirt a little bit of water and I'm going to scooch this over real quick so you can kind of see. I squirt just a little bit of water onto the surface. And then we're just going to take our paintbrush, dab that in the water to get the, the paintbrush wet, and then take our pencil and pick some of the coloring up. And then basically just start putting your coloring down. Now if it's too dark, you can always just add a little bit more water and that will thin it out. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put down a little bit of a base. with the salty ocean. I like having more water in places on my paintbrush than on others. That way it gives us a little bit of that variance in color on the, um, on the design. If you want a little bit more color in there, then all you need to do is not dip your um, paintbrush into the water and just make it a little bit of a drier and that way you can get some darker colors going with you to get a variation in the water. Alright, and then I'm going to take some and just very lightly go ahead and put a little layer of water so that we can show that the water is also is behind the boat as well. So we'll just put a little bit in lighter colors, a little bit lighter version of this color. And then since the water shows through the window, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of more of the um, blue right there in the window where it's showing through our boat. Now if you would like to, you can go ahead and take the um, prize ribbon. This is just a little bit darker blue, so what I'm going to do is just take the prize ribbon and add just a little bit of darker around the boat so that we show that We've got a little shadowing under the boat with a little bit darker water. You can kind of see where the shadowing is. The stamp will give you that impression or that uh, the dark lines or what show where it's a little bit darker. And then once you get that, you can put a few little markings down to get a little bit more of the darker water. Alright, then we're going to rinse off our brush 
So I've got a paper towel here and I can either turn the, the video off and go and, and wash it which gets a lot of the ink out but if you just um, be sure and spritz the brush then you can also clean, clean the, the uh, ink off of there. So now we're going to go ahead and go on and put a little bit of the sky in. I wanted it to kind of look like it was getting close to sunset. So we're going to use the spiced marmalade and spritz a little bit more water down since I cleaned up the blue water. Don't want to mix my colors up if I can avoid that. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to get some water, pick up some of the color with my brush. and start just putting a little bit of the orange sky like the sun is setting. If you want it a little bit darker, get a little more color without adding water. Alright, and now we'll go ahead and go with the seedless preserves. Same thing, I'll kind of rinse off my brush a little bit. Use some clean water, pick up some seedless preserves, and just put a little bit of the color in the background there. Now it looks like I've got a nice little smudge, so what I'm actually going to do is turn off the camera, run get my um, ink eraser, and see if I can't get that black smudge to uh, disappear. So the ink eraser that I use is by Tombow. It's got a sand end and just a rubber stamp end. So using the sand end, I'm just going to see if I can lightly erase that black smudge that I got on there. There we go. And then if I want to, I can go ahead and take my seedless preserves and just kind of touch up a little bit there. So maybe it won't show quite so much. All right, now we will go ahead and use our hickory smoke and we're going to paint that solidly over the um, boat and then we'll add some highlights with our brown colors. So again, I've just got some water on my brush. Pick up some color of the hickory smoke. And paint our boat in this nice kind of weathered wood looking color. Alright. Now we can highlight it with a little bit of the walnut stain. So I'm going to take a little walnut stain and just around some of the um, pieces that are on the boat. I'm just going to try and do some darker color so that it looks like it's got a little bit of dimension. We'll also put some down here close to the bottom of the, of the boat to kind of get the impression of the shadowing that's right close to the water. Just dab some a little along the way. That just gives it a little bit of depth there. Alright, now for the final thing I want to do is just go ahead and give the um, man a bright red jacket. So that's what I've got the candied apple for. And we're just going to go ahead and wipe the brush off again real quickly. Get some water and then pick up a little bit of the candied apple and we're just going to give him a little pop of color there.
All right, and that's basically all we're going to do to that little piece. We're now going to take this and attach it to our piece of uh, frame cardstock that we've made. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out just a little bit there. Make sure that that's all dry. And then I'm just going to take my adhesive running tape, or your, you can use your glue. And then we're going to adhere this. I'm going to actually make a little white background here so that I can see it a little bit better to line it up. Oops. Hopefully I don't get my head in the shot, but if I do, I apologize for that. I just want to make sure that I'm getting centered over the top of it. I got off just a little bit. So because of that, I'm just going to basically take a pair of scissors and trim it down to make it a little more even. Alright, so there, now we've got our little piece that we're going to, see if you can see that, that we finished up, that's going to be in our spot on the bottom part of our card. So we're going to set this piece aside now. We're going to get our art card and we're going to go ahead and put the coloring and the stamps on that. Okay, for our art card we're going to blend our colors to give the background and I'm doing it so that it still looks like the same colors as what we used in the small card and continue that theme throughout the back of the rest of the back piece. So what we're going to start out doing is taking our carved pumpkin and I'm going to blend it about two-thirds of the way down the card. Once we have that the way that we like it to look, we're going to then move on to the salty ocean and do that on the bottom third of our card. While you're doing this, you can go a little bit up into the orange. This is going to, um, the spiced, uh, I mean the uh, carved pumpkin, this is going to um, kind of start a, a blending of the two colors up there so that it, it has a smooth transition.
once we get that to be the way we want it to look, we'll move on to the seedless preserves. With our seedless preserves, we're just going to try and put that up kind of on the top edge. And with this one, we can kind of come down a little bit on the side. We don't want it to be just a necessarily a straight across. That gives it a little more interest and a little bit more of the reality of how the uh, sunset reflections may be. The reason I like to put this over the orange is because you can get a few of the orange tones coming through the seedless preserves, again giving it a little bit more of that realistic look. Okay. Now we're ready to move on to stamping our compass onto the card. So I'm going to take my stamping platform again put my piece down on the stamping platform and what you may notice is I've got a sticky grid that I have put down onto my stamping um, platform this helps me to not have to mess with using magnets alright so now I'm going to take my compass, find the end, make sure that's at the top, place that over on the right hand side and center it. And then using our Versifying Claire Nocturne, we will ink up the compass. And stamp that down. And there we go. Let me get a little bit more pressure on this side. And now we've got our compass in place. So at this point, this is where you're going to want to go ahead and put your uh, sentiment down. And like I said, you can either, if you like the words that I've used, you can use, you can have printed it onto your cardstock first, or um, you can find another sentiment. I just liked the words. Um, you are my true north. So this little set that I have is little individual pieces that you snap together to get uh, the words lined up for stamping. So this is what I'm going to use today. So what I'm going to do, and my head may get in the way on this, I'm going to go ahead and remove my card from the stamping platform. Set that aside. And then I'm going to get out my Versifying Claire and ink up my sentiment. I wish that there was a way that I could put this on my stamping platform so I could make sure I get a nice even alignment, but these aren't made to do that, so I'm just going to have to eyeball it. And again, my head may get in the way here, and I've got a little ink on my hand. Let me wipe that off so I don't get it on my card in the wrong place. 
All right, and now I'm going to try and center this. And again, I'm sorry, my head will get in the way here, I'm sure. Center that where I want it to be. Stamp that down. So now we've got the UR. And I've got my that I have inked up. I'm going to try and center that. All right, and then I want to use the word true. So I'm going to have to take this apart and get my U. Spell out true. And center that again. And then finally my word north. And I will ink that up. All right. So now that we've got our sentiment down, now we can go ahead and adhere this piece and then also put what I like to do is like a little frame around the edge. I use my black soot. To me, this just kind of um, pulls the eye to the center, gives it that nice distressed look. And so I'm just taking a tiny little dauber just lightly going around the outer edge to give just a little bit of a smoky look. So there we have that little addition there of just a little frame. So we're ready to go ahead and finish out our card. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to adhere our little small piece. Now if you want to use dimensionals to do this, you can. I am just decided to go ahead and just do it flat on the card, but um, dimensionals would also give it some, a nice effect. And so I'm just going to try and center that where I'd like for it to be. Got it a little crooked, so I'm going to try again. Sometimes I think I'm too much of a perfectionist, but that's okay. All right. I think that's a little straighter this time. So now we've got that adhered on and we're ready to go ahead and take our art card and put it on our frame. So we're going to take our adhesive running tape. And 
and adhere that, center it as well as we can. And now we've got it on our frame. And now the final step is going to be to put it on our card base. All right. And I'm going to grab like a piece of paper here so I can see it. It's kind of hard to see on the on the black background to get it centered. And there we have our finished card. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial today. I hope you enjoy this process for making a great masculine card. Remember to check out the DelBellosDesigns.com website for more tutorials on the design team page. Have a great day! Thank you.